YouTube, what's going on? If you're new here, my name is Roger. I own a company called QBO Tactical, where we make holsters and gear, and also film content for this channel. In today's video, we are taking a look at a new, improved version of one of my favorite compact EDC guns. I'm talking about the new Smith & Wesson MMP Shield Plus Performance Center 4-inch model. So as always, I like to tell you guys how I go about getting these products in for review. Um, you all know our good buddy Ken from Provectus Group. Ken introduced me to the awesome crew over at Smith & Wesson, and they were kind enough to send us this gun for us to use in shop for holster fitment and to film with this video. Huge shout out to both Anna and Corey with the Smith & Wesson marketing team for supporting our channel. Okay, let's get into the specs of the new MMP Shield. The Smith & Wesson MMP Shield Plus Performance Center is a subcompact 9mm with a 4-inch ported barrel. This specific model comes optic ready and actually has a 5 MOA red dot already equipped from Crimson Trace. This model also comes with their new flat face trigger, which is something I know a lot of people have been wanting when it comes to the MMP lineup. The frame has a nice enhanced grip texture, which is very tactile and allows you to get better grip on this small handgun. Something you'll see later during the range portion when we talk about the recoil. The gun comes with a 13 round magazine and a flush 10 round magazine and fiber optic backup sights. Okay guys, with the specs out of the way, let's get into the range footage. John, Gabe, and I all headed out to one of our shooting spots here in Vegas. Like we do in all of our videos, I wanted to record everybody's first shots to the gun, so here's that footage now. All right guys, this is my first round to so the MMP9 Shield Plus Performance Center. I have the uh, four inch Porter model with the Crimson Trace 5 MOA red dot that comes with it. Just shooting some uh, 124s. All right, see how it feels, here we go. Dude, so when I got this, the ports, they're there and they're, they're a little smaller. You know, and you guys see my other videos like chunk ports, arc reactor, stuff like that. Uh, and I was a little like worried about how much mit uh, recoil mitigation would be there, but it is there. This thing feels solid. Yeah. All right, guys, here's Gabe's first round to the Shield Plus 4 inch. That's what's up, dude. I was not ready for that. It's pretty sweet. I thought it was gonna be a lot snappier than it yeah, is, it really but it's right back on target. That's solid. All right, John's first round to the MP Shield Plus. Go for it, John. Wow, pretty flat. It's nice. What do you think of that dot? Super tiny, huh? Yeah, super tiny, but stays stays on pretty nice. As you can see, everyone, including myself, was pleasantly surprised by how much the ports actually did reduce the recoil. Um, I think that coupled with the enhanced grip texture really lets you control this small compact gun and keep that red dot in your line of sight as the gun cycles each round. To better illustrate this, I decided to film us uh, using three different grains of 9mm ammunition uh, and film it up close and in slow motion. I used some 124 grain, some 147 grain, and then for the last four rounds, I actually used some Ultimate Ammunition Blue Line 90 grain plus P ammo. Um, I was pretty stoked with the results. You'll see now. All right, first four rounds are some 124s. Second set, 147s. And the last are the Ultimate Ammunition Blue Line 90 Greens. From there, I definitely want to do some build drills from concealment. Um, lately, I've been rocking a nice thin flannel jacket that I got from Costco. Um, it's super comfortable, however, it does give me the issue of running two cover garments now when drawing from concealment. Um, I figured this was the perfect time to get some reps in with that. Two ninety-seven first shot, one eight. Let's go again. Go 
Got a 234 first shot, 133, 2 1 split, 2 4, 18, 2 1, 17, 2 1. I'll take that, hey oh. After that, I wanted to see how fast and accurate I could get my draw times down to with a single shot from concealment. Got a 119, stand by. That was a 119, stand by. Got a 112, stand by. One fifteen. And a 109. All right, let's go take a look at the target, Gabe. Just so you guys know, we are shooting steel, but this is that mini ADAP from TA Targets. So you guys can see, it's only about, I think it's seven inches wide, and about 16 inches tall. Uh, super good tool, guys, um, for if you just wanna have that instant gratification of steel, but keep yourself good and honest by such a small target. Now, definitely not my fastest times, but with drawing from concealment while wearing two clothing garments and with a small subcompact gun, I'm pretty stoked with those results. Something you other MMP enthusiasts might have noticed in this video was the new trigger from Smith & Wesson for this lineup. Smith & Wesson has come out with their new flat face trigger for consistent trigger finger placement. Um, this is something I know a lot of Smith & Wesson fans have been waiting for. I'm happy to say that it is here and you will definitely notice a more consistent press on the trigger with each round fired. Okay guys, now let's go back to that Ultimate Ammunition 90 grain plus P9 mil. Um, I have a future video coming out on this ammo and I have put several hundred rounds of it down range. Um, you guys already saw from the slow-mo footage of how well the stuff cycles, but I wanted to take a minute on the range to run the ammo specifically and have both John and Gabe run it as well to get their thoughts. All right guys, so you might remember from my EDC video that I recently switched over to the Ultimate Ammunition, uh, their 90 grain, their Blue Line Edition, their Plus P ammo. Uh, you guys all know Plus P tends to work really well in ported models. So I want to shoot some of this and get my thoughts on it right here and then have everybody else try it out as well. So here we go, four rounds. Man, it's crazy. Like with how small of a platform this is, shooting plus P ammo, I would think that I'd feel much, uh, much more recoil, much snappier, but not at all. Like it really, these, like the combo of this works really well together. So uh, Gabe, I'm gonna have you try it, man. All right, Gabe, given the Shield Plus ported performance center model with the uh, Ultimate Ammunition 90 grain blue line. Go for it, bud. Dude, yeah, that's crazy, man. I would really expect it to be a lot more snappier, but that's sweet. I dig it. All right, we got John trying out the uh, Shield Plus performance center ported model with the 90 grain blue line. Go for it, bud. Pretty nice. Stays nice and flat with how crisp those rounds are. So being a smaller gun, I know you typically run like a full size 19 or sorry, 17 or 19, but uh, mm -hmm. how is it rocking this? It's with nice. It's almost flatter than running my 19. <laughs> Like I said, we will have a future video coming out on this new 9mm ammunition, but I can tell you right now um, that when we put the stuff on a chronograph, the results were pretty cool. The last thing we did was some shooting on the move. Um, I like to do this in all of our videos, especially with red dots, as it lets me see how well I can track the dot while moving. This particular Smith & Wesson model comes with the 5MOA uh, Crimson Trace red dot. I was honestly pleasantly surprised with the field of view and how easy it was to get on target with this dot. Um, I will say this though, if I were to actually carry this gun, um, I would probably switch out to the Holosun 507K as it has a metal housing um, and tactile audible clicks when adjusting your windage and elevation. Um, I like the Crimson Trace dot for the range, however, I have had negative experiences with optics that have plastic housings and not being able to feel or hear click adjustments when zeroing your dot can just be a little frustrating. Um, regardless of that, we were still able to get it zeroed and I still think it's cool that it's actually included with the gun when you purchase it. Uh, 
Uh, we actually posted this little clip to our Instagram feed, uh, which is me filming myself shooting this one-handed through my iPhone. MMP, Smith & Wesson Shield Plus Performance Center model, four inch ported. Got some ultimate ammo, 90 grain, blue line, plus P ammo. Crimson Trace included red dot. Some TA targets out at about 20. That little mini ADAP is crazy. Even with that plus P ammo, David, this thing is sweet, man. Works really well in the ported model. I am digging this thing. Hey, -o. Like I said, this thing is really awesome to shoot and it shows in that video when I'm shooting single-handedly from about 20 yards away on that mini ADAP steel target, which is only eight inches wide, guys. Okay, the last thing I'd like to go over before we end this video is the holster that we were using. Uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, I own a company called QVO Tactical, which is a holster company based right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, the holster we were using is our more discreet inside the waistband holster. Uh, this one is Tiffany Blue Kydex with our 80s base side fabric overlay. Um, it also has a 3D printed plastic concealment wing, which helps push the grip in towards your body when wearing your belt. Um, this aids in better concealment. You can find these holsters on our website, qvotactical.com. Well guys, that's gonna wrap up our review on the Smith & Wesson MMP Shield Plus Performance Center. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up down below as that does help out the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing as we post new videos every week. If you wanna further support our content, please check out that Patreon link down below. Our Patreon supporters are a big reason why we keep making these videos for you guys all to check out, so thank you to them. As always guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Rocking two garments. Haven't done this in a minute, huh? Whew, I missed so fast. All right, here we go. Gabe's first rounds to the M and Peel. Oh, hold on, M and Peel. M and Peel. Keel, Keenan Peel. Keenan Peel. Peel. All right, guys. It's be Gabe's first rounds to the M and P. Uh, what the hell is that gun called? Shield. Shield plus. <laughs> All right, here we go. Gabe's first rounds to the MMP shield. Oh my God, why is MMP so hard to say? All right, guys. Gabe's first rounds to the MMP. Oh my God, why is it so hard to say? <laughs>